Sandy, thank you so much for taking the time to see me today. I am such a big fan. Am I talking to myself right now? What things other than a bar can you jump over? Oh, anytime I'm driving down the highway and I see those numbers that say, you know, how many feet tall is this bridge, I always think to myself, I could jump over that. Splat! <laughs> what is the most annoying question that people ask you? Oh, anytime I'm traveling with my poles. Not only are they just like, oh, what's those? They, they're like, are those snow skis? I'm like, no, it's a bazooka, duh. Okay, okay, here's a good one. If you were a dictator of a small island nation, what crazy dictator stuff would you do? Everybody has to have a pet goat if you live on Sandy's Island. What would the flag look like? Ooh, it would definitely have to have like a snake on it that's spelled Sandy, starts with a snake, S-A-N-D-I. Can you sing me the national anthem of Sandy Island? Oh, oh, oh. So tell me about goat yoga. Oh, it's amazing. You're doing yoga and goats stand on you. I've heard about pug yoga. What quirks do you have? I think I'm a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> I talk too much. I'm very quirky though. I spray pink hair dye in my hair. I can't remember people's names. What's between a flying squirrel and a snow leopard? Zombies. I love anything zombies. If Sandy Morris was a pizza, it would be whatever the person wants it to be because that doesn't make any sense. Have you enjoyed this interview? I have. It's a little nerve wracking because when the person who's interviewing you knows you better than you know yourself. It's, you never know what they're gonna say. I know everything about you, Sandy Morris. You're so creepy.